Earlier in this newscast, we told you about what fans can expect at FC Cincinnati's new stadium. But now we're taking you back to where it all began. Keenan Singleton has this look back to one year ago with the orange and blue. Just one year into its existence, FC Cincinnati quickly adopted a citywide tradition. That's all I heard from my family is, oh, Cincy sports in the playoffs. Am I right, Austin? And I just, you know. This is the story of the first year of FC Cincinnati from five of the men who lived it. The coach, John Harks, a living American soccer legend. Austin Berry, the homegrown hero and first player signed. Dan McNally, the first employee who headed operations. Omar Cummings, the former UC star and fan favorite midfielder Jimmy McLaughlin. And Charleston has pulled off the upset at Nippert Stadium. FCC's opening chapter didn't have a happy ending, yet it was still a fairy tale. The club ran off 11 straight results without a loss. We were kind of trying to, you know, knock down some doors and say, you know, here's pro soccer. Park's orange and blueprint was simple. Play attractive soccer and score every home game. It only took Sean Acoli five minutes to deliver for the 15,000 at the home opener. So I remember the first home game, I was looking around, I looked at my staff. I was like, where are we? <laughs> and I think Keenan, they really thought that, well, oh, I think the old man's lost his mind, you know. He's, uh, you don't know where we are, coach? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm asking that because look at the crowd here. It's fantastic. That game really was the opportunity for for FC Cincinnati to, 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 get, to take over in the city and become a, a big player. Cummings was injured and not playing that day. He didn't even see a Coley scissor kick, but he did hear it. I got chills, you know, the sound of it. You know, that one, that first one would always live with me. The USL attendance numbers made FCC a domestic anomaly. The Crystal Palace game put FC Cincinnati on the map internationally. You know, talking to uh, the, the club itself was just like, oh, are you sure we're ready for this at this time? And I'm like, oh, I think this city's ready to explode. It's always the Crystal Palace game. Some good stories about Crystal Palace down in OTI that, uh, that weekend. The party ended in the playoff opener, a 2-1 loss at Nippert Stadium. This is just my perception of it. We were, we were tired. It had been an unbelievable ride that first year, and maybe the playoffs was a game too many for us. It's almost we didn't know it was going to be over. Five years since their last game, the team still lives on. We were just real. You know, we were, there was no egos at the time. It was like, you know, we're, we have all the answers. It wasn't like that. It was more like, hey, we're all in this together. Let's go. Crazy how close that group was and how, uh, how often everybody still talks and um, the relationships that were built from that group. That first year crew, um, the, they, they get a lot of credit for, for where this club is at now.